and I got this. This came the other day. I'm so excited. My oh, little. My oh, uh, it's great for traveling. Uh, no one else can really smell it. Yeah, exactly. And it just refreshes your face, and when yeah. you're at conferences, and oh, I love it. And it's it's likely that my order will arrive. <laughs> It's supposed to arrive today. It was supposed to arrive last week, and then with all the storms and everything, I guess well, it didn't. No, they were doing... I phoned, because oh. mine was taking so long. Hey. Well, so the FedEx thing said delivery today. Oh, good. Which I'm hoping, because then we're gone for four days. I know. Yeah. So if it, if it comes, we'll bring it up and we'll ah. open it. I love your boots. Thank you. Me too. I'm just very excited about these boots. Yeah, the last time I had new booties was 10 years... No, was... 30 years ago. Is that right? No, that can't be right. Because you like to buy used, or you just don't buy boots? I just tend to not to buy. But yeah, used, I like to, I, yeah. which is weird, used shoes, but... Not really. I find some good ones sometimes. That's becoming a real thing now, because there are so many, there's so the much fruits. clothing going into landfills. Yeah. Yeah. Come on up. I know, you want to come up. Okay. I think this yeah. mic is for you, Frankie. <laughs> are you going to be our oils doggy? Well, that was one of the oils that came in the um, advent calendar. Was the dog was one? Was a dog Pet one. Sense? Pet Sense. It was Renew. Oh. And I haven't, I haven't looked hard yet, but I haven't found any information about Renew and what the oh, Renew Oh, it'll be on the U.S. site. Oh, no, we have it in Canada now, so it'll be on the Canada, Can Canadian site. Oh, will it? Okay. My, my phone is in my purse. Come here. <laughs> really? You think that, Frankie? I'm going to sneeze, Mama. <laughs> I, mean, I don't Thank know you. if I like this. Come here. It smells so good. It's before. It's sage it's and northern sage. lights black spruce. Go oh, look at her. <laughs> Aww. I want it to okay. smell like beef. I want it to smell like beef. <laughs> oh, the beef. Oh, the beef. <laughs> I'm just snorting. Snork. <laughs> oh, poor Frankie. <laughs> this was the size of the lemon. Whoa. In the States, right. you can get these on the professional accounts. I know, and we can't we don't appear have yet. Them like this Canada. is the regular. <laughs> That's a significant difference. So, uh, this is a uh, 53 mil. Yeah. What a weird number, right? I thought, wow. Yeah. Maybe it's the size of the bottle 1.8. 1. 1. 1. <clears throat> this is great. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It was the size of the lemon. <laughs> It was overwhelming. Wow. That was good. That was good. Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> that was good. Was it? Okay. You say my versions of good. <laughs> yeah. Excuse uh -huh. me. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. This book. Yes. This book. <laughs> <laughs> so, like for instance, when we're talking about rosemary, it's kind of a fun book because he lists, he talks about what family it's from. Yeah. That Latin name, that it's herbaceous, slightly woody, balsamic, and medicinal, steam distilled. This isn't a Young Living book. Okay. This is just a book that I found. It blends well with all these. If you're making a blend, recommend dilution, 3 to 20% neat for some conditions. You will you wouldn't see that in a regular book yes, necessarily. Yes, which is what I'm really interested in, is the protocols for using them uh, as medicinals. The compounds medicinals. within the oil. Therapeutic properties, as you can see, mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Cautions, avoid with children under age three, particularly around no nose and mouth. Rosemary's quite, mm -hmm. it has, uh, it's this, the one eight cineol yeah. that makes it really good for respiratory and things, but also not so good for little ones. Mm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> use cautiously under five uh, because of the cineol and camphor. And I say that in my spot, not with if you have a seizure condition. Mm. He goes on, oh, and wow. they talk about uh, selected evidence. So he goes into oh, great, yeah, different yeah. studies and things. And I forgot I had this book. And wow. last night when I was getting ready to do some things, I thought, oh, so lots of in vitro, in vitro. Like you were, the study you sent me was saying there's lots in the. They say there's not too much science being done. There's a ton. Mm -hmm. Only in North America, there's you know twenty thousand studies that have been done. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't account for what's going on in Saudi Arabia and Africa and Europe and exactly everywhere else. Yeah. There's actually quite a lot of research being done. Mm -hmm. So you can see lots of in vitro studies. So in vitro does not mean in vitro means it's in, in the dish. Uh, in the okay, not not in not vitro. In, that's in utero. <laughs> oh, in utero. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking as I read that in vitro. What they're testing on it, unborn like, babies. <laughs> Thank you. That makes more sense now. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, figured yeah. it wasn't quite what I was thinking. So. <laughs> I know we get all, all the words start becoming one. 
Yeah, so this is kind of a fun book to, mm -hmm. to read through, especially if you're a doctor or someone who really understands medical research. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to Science. know, did somebody actually do some research on this? Like, I didn't know until I looked at this that there was this much research on rosemary. <clears throat> yeah. But of course there is. Yeah. I've been thinking out in the pot outside my back door, but <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's that's the thing. I was and I've been thinking of, about this a lot since one of our previous shows that when we were talking about the plague, for example, and how more women survived the plague than men did, more women were working directly with these herbs on a daily basis. So their immune system was stronger and they had a better ability to ward off the virus and the bacteria. Yes, and they wouldn't have been using toxins in their soils in those days because no. now if you know you can contract all kinds of things just from working in your garden if you're using pesticides mm -hmm. and if your soil is contaminated <clears throat> so yeah, we did a little bit of research again um, on the noxious weed act that we were mm -hmm. talking about last mm -hmm. time and found that although some provinces provinces still have a ban on dandelions Yes. <laughs> and you can be fined for having dandelions in your front yard. Alberta recently rescinded that. Oh. Anyways, one of the prairie Someone, provinces. One of those prairie provinces. Um, has rescinded <clears throat> it, so now it, you can have dandelions in your front yard and not get fined. We was, have them. <gasps> I'm not sure that... <laughs> well, They're actually, so Dave does try to get rid of the dandelions. <laughs> <laughs> it's a losing battle. He has a little machine, a little... Mm -hmm. And he pulls them out and he plants grass seed and um, he... It's only because he's retired. I don't think he would do that otherwise. But, oh, okay. Uh, and I kind of like the, the dandelions. Yeah. I was a friend of mine <clears throat> uh, studied with a famous um, herbalist, Susan Weed. I think is her name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but she is. He was destined. For world this renowned, time. apparently, and she studied with her. And she was saying that it's a good thing to have dandelions close to your house. It mean that's a good thing. It's good means the soil's good. It's good for you and yeah, you can and eat textures them. and yep. salads and you can make dandelion wine, <clears throat> you can roast the root to make There's coffee. There's a song about dandelion. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good. it's good medicine. I'm I have a brain that likes to weed these little things. <laughs> I keep looking at it. Oh, really? Animal this is research. so what is this oh, one dear. called? <laughs> Animal research. We don't want that, do we? This book, Evidence-Based Essential Oil, oil Therapy. Okay, I've seen that. I have seen that. He does talk about things other people don't talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we can't talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shh. Somebody don't talk about it. <laughs> it's a miracle. I'm just going to say that. It's a miracle.